Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating from WisdomSeekers.net. Uh, my website's still down. I do believe we're going to be moving it to another site. And uh, hopefully soon. Uh, in the meantime, go to Facebook, that the Phoenix, that's our symbol. And uh, also on Instagram, I believe you can reach me from there. I don't understand them very well, so please keep nagging at me. If you have me on Messenger personally, come to come directly to me. I'm fine with that. Uh, what else? This is for Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for April the 14th. 2023 and uh, Earth has got a very interesting reading. It's uh, tomorrow the 14th should have a mini death within it. It's not a and with all the people that see it I'm pretty certain everybody will just have a mini death. It's not a uh, it's where you let go of a belief system where you oh I thought that was I thought that life was this way but it's that it's not and that's good they are good by the way many deaths because you can't go back from a mini death use your intuition this is the the male form of intuition it's the far seeing where you go looking for an answer so go look for the answer that why did you have this mini death? What what's what is it doing for you? And you will find the Knight of Wands. You'll find that uh, you have a lot of new information coming up. It's so old, in fact, that it's new new to us. That's very that's very important because that means we are graduating we're moving up we're bringing in the old information to our energy to our realm which is in chain in in turn shifting the world around us and we want to be positive and upbeat while we're doing it though it can of course be a very can be a bit hard on us many deaths are not easy i'm not saying they aren't the the uh, what you need to do and this is a need is to stay in balance as poss much as possible that's that's emotional balance because when you stay in emotional balance then you can step out of or step into things with ease and grace and that's what we're looking for ease and grace so there's got three major arcanas for for earth tomorrow the 14th and the the staying in balance is the most important thing the staying seeing both sides of a of the of a problem the most exciting thing is the information coming in it will be developed over time you won't see it immediately you probably won't see the benefits until you step back, stay in, uh, again in balance, step back. But the card, the ultimate card is the strength card. And it's basically saying what I was saying. You're rising above your inner nature. You're moving beyond that which you were. The So you are moving into higher vibrations. As you move into higher vibrations, better things come to you when when you're in a higher vibration bad luck will fall away when you're in a higher vibration when people say bad things about you the energy will fall away it's if there's a chance that you'll have a flat tire or not you won't that's what happens in a higher vibration will you sometimes have a flat tire of course you will because why because maybe it's a lesson but if it's just a random event it won't happen because you're moving beyond that which has which no longer serves you so 
many deaths, though very likely uncomfortable, is very positive for you. I'm going to end it there because, you know, it's not, it's a good reading. Be open, stay in balance, and, and you will find that what occurs is a positive. Namaste, namasco. I love you and you I do love. <laughs>